Twitch, Dunmo, McFly, and the brilliant Stargirl. Playing that for Danny um, after the revelation that he's actually got a daughter called Star, which is amazing. So uh, that's for you, Danny. Thank you so much, Chris. Hey, you're Fellow Pisces, I found out. Yeah. That's why he cares so much, and he's such a beautiful man. See? Pisces forever. Pisces. And yeah, because um, Danny's daughter's actually born the day before my birthday. Fellow Pisces. So, so, yeah. Same day as George Harrison. Yeah, so it's meant to be. So there's a lot of Beatles coming up for you guys. And actually, um, George Harrison was the first album that I bought. Was it? What type? All Things Were Bars? Cloud Nine. Did, and they never heard it? You've never heard Cloud Nine album? I'm going to get it. Oh, but I'm going to play some songs from that album before 10 o'clock, because it's a great album. So my first album that I ever got was Cloud Nine. We bought it... I think it was in Rumbelows, if you remember Rumbelows. I remember Rumbelows, yep. Yeah. Uh, they sold everything. Basically. They did, yes. Um, so we bought that. And, and the first single I bought was on tape. It was Wigfield Saturday Night. Saturday Night. Beam. She was very pretty, wasn't she? I remember mean, the sublime, absolutely ridiculous. And apparently she's making a comeback, Wigfield. I can't wait. We get her on the show, Chris. We literally can't wait. Let's put her on the show. We should. Someone <laughs> find me her number. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, so there we go. A little bit. You're a great man, Chris. Thank you. One tries, one's best. You, you are, you are exactly that. There you go. It's too kind. So, Danny, we've gone now from the birth of your daughter Star. Yes. Back in two thousand seven. What next? Well, I was over the moon. I had a beautiful daughter, Danielle, who I saw all the time, who lived with me most of the time. She was living with me up till. March this year, forever me and Danielle were like that. Mm -hmm. And then I got a star. And me and star have been like that ever, ever since. Me and my daughters have such a lovely bond mm -hmm. and uh, it never changed. Our love is forever. Mm -hmm. I love Danielle and star with more than any word I could tell you, Chris. Can't even go there. Yeah. And basically, I was over the moon with star. But then about a year after, when star was a year old, I started hanging around with the Fetford crew and like drinking and doing little parties while my kid was asleep. Mm -hmm. while my girlfriend was asleep mm -hmm. my girlfriend couldn't cope mm -hmm. we even moved from Jaywick for six months to right. try and overcome this yeah. we moved to Colchester, Star we moved to Wiveno right. but it still didn't work out I was still I still had this buzz of recreating Fetford I want to party I want to live I want to mm -hmm. before I get old because I'm a Pisces I wanted so much mm -hmm. I was like oh and, and, and I lost beautiful Naomi after nine and a half years and Star they, they left me when uh, Star was a year and a half because it's not fair on a baby to have someone like me around that wanted to party. Yeah. I, I didn't see it at the time, but I do now. And I'm totally over it. Mm. And, I, and me and Naomi get on really well now and star. And I, and I apologise every time I say, look, I'm sorry I've become that person. Mm. But I, at least I didn't stay that person. Mm. And I, I now realise what I was. That's how I know I can help other people. Mm. And I'm still making my videos on my camera recorder. We went to the Caribbean for a month. Me, Star, Danielle and Naomi. For a whole month we went to Antigua nice. and St. Lucia. Yeah. I've got all that on video. Mm -hmm. Superb. Mm -hmm. There's some videos I'll never release. They're personal. Mm -hmm. But anyway, after Naomi split up with me, I had about a year of just being on my own with loads of people around me. I was drinking a lot and take, and just, just losing self-respect. Mm -hmm. And um, then I met a, a young lady called uh, Connie. She lived in Chatham in Kent. She come down to see my pal. Uh, his daughter, and then we met, we we hooked up. It weren't like a move-in relationship. She lived there, I lived here, and I kind of kept seeing her. But then over like the next couple of years, we started spending more time together. She did live with me for a bit, but not full time. But she did for a bit. And we had some great times. We went travelling in our little camper van. We went to see loads of places. And I've always I always loved the people I spent time with, even though we're not together now. I always loved the people I once loved. Love is forever, mm -hmm. and I swear by that. And I wouldn't even tell someone I loved them if I didn't. Mm -hmm. So even though we're not together now, I love them all forever. Mm -hmm. And I don't, that might sound weird to some people, but that's how my life is. Yeah. So I'll always love everyone I loved, and I haven't loved that many people. Anyway, me and Connie were together for like five, five years on and off. Around 2012, she lived so far away, I lived in Jaywick. We split company. Yeah. It wasn't on a bad note, it was just, you know, life. Mm -hmm. And I'd been partying and travelling and felt like I was 21 again. Yeah. Because she was younger than me, you know. She was about 15 years younger. Mm -hmm. It's just a great... I really, I really love feeling young. Mm -hmm. So then 2012 we split. And then about three or four months after that, I met another young lady. Uh, she was about 20, 19, called Gemma. Right. 
and, and that was seven years ago and I'm still with her to this day mm. and uh, we haven't had any children or anything we don't want to like ruin we don't want to like you know whatever but you never know mm -hmm. there's always time Absolutely. to forever shine and then when I met Gemma in 2012 I basically got I started, I, I started building myself up again I wanted to show her what I'm capable of yeah. and, I, and then and then my mate Ginger Darren we call him Ginger <laughs> Darren he had a YouTube account for his bush truck stuff Right. And, I, and he knows I've been making videos for years. Yeah. He said, Danny, why don't you make your videos online rather than just privately? Yeah. I went, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Can I, get, I made the old one for Facebook, but I didn't yeah. think about YouTube. Yeah, cool. So then I started making videos in like 2013 for YouTube. That's when I opened my account. Right. Do you know how many videos I've made since 2013 to this day? Probably getting on for a thousand. 22,000. Wow. If you go to my YouTube account, Danny Slog, Danny Slog it. That's S L O double G E double Z. Yeah. Danny Sloggett. If you go to that, mm -hmm. there's 22,000 videos wow. of my life from 2013. Wow. There's a whole lifetime of films there. Plus, I've got the other 20 years before that, which no one's ever seen. Yeah. But I think we should wait till the next part comes because I basically, the person I am today is the person that I've got to up to this part of this interview. Wow. This is 2013. Yeah. I've been with Gemma for a year yeah. and I'm deciding to take Sloggett Vision, Danny Sloggett Vision. Mm -hmm to the internet. Great stuff, looking forward to that. 22,000 videos puts my baking channel to shame. I've got like 10 videos on there. But I've got one video that's got 92,000 views. Top man, you are a natural star, Chris. Well, you know. I can spot it. We try. <laughs> so which brings us nicely on to your next, uh, your next choice this evening, Danny. Um, from John Lennon and the Plastic I Know Band. Would you like to introduce your, your next song? The song I've chosen, my fourth song, is a song by John Lennon, because John Lennon is my most favourite person on planet Earth, and I've chosen a song called Instant Karma, because he says the words, shine on. And we all shine on. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Danny. John Lennon, Instant Karma on Switch.